the leadership for the future book 2020 Good evening everyone, I'm Susie Ramroop, a judge for the Leadership of the Future category at this year's Business Book Awards. Firstly, I'd like to thank Lord Mark Price and Engaging Works for their support with the awards and specifically this category. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark Price, the founder of Engaging Works, the former Managing Director of Waitrose and the UK's former Minister of State for Trade. I've been delighted to support the Business Book Awards and I'm sorry that I can't be with you tonight but what I would like to do is to congratulate everybody who's been nominated and shortlisted. I'd like to congratulate in advance all of those that receive an award. I'd like to congratulate the authors, the publishers, the editors, all of those people who go to make great business books which help people have happier and more successful working lives. I'm delighted to say that all of the books shortlisted will be featured on the Engaging Works Business Library and I wish you all a really successful and enjoyable evening. Thank you. We had an incredible job to do to try and shortlist some really great books this year. Let's have a look at the shortlist. The Leadership for the Future Book 2020 category finalists are Artificial Intelligence in Practice by Bernard Marr with Matt Ward High Frequency Change by Tom Cheesewright How to Lead Smart People by Aaron Singh and Mike Mister No Bullshit Leadership by Chris Hurst Rebel Ideas by Matthew Syed and The Leader's Secret Code by Mark Ridley, Ian Mills, Ben Laker and Adam Pacifico. The winner of the Highly Commended Book Award goes to Matthew Syed for Rebel Ideas. To write one book is an achievement but to write two or three well I mean that's just a sign of greatness from the minute we picked this book up we couldn't help but keep turning the pages faster and faster it is a compelling and gripping read that beautifully balances detailed research with insightful stories that just proves the point that the time for diverse thinking is now. Diverse thinking is the solution for leadership now and in the future. It's a really wonderful read that keeps answering the questions that we keep asking. So Matthew, congratulations on the highly commended award. And the winner of the Leadership for the Future category for this year's Business Book Awards is Chris Hurst for No Bullshit Leadership. Honestly, when we picked this book up, we thought, is it a gimmick? Quite quickly, we realized, no, it is not. This book is refreshing in a way that is getting to the point of such crucial leadership challenges in such a simple, an engaging way. It's rare to find a book that does this so beautifully. Yes, it's no bullshit, but it's also really elegant in its directness and uses beautiful stories to illustrate the points that Chris is making with this book. It's really for anyone. It's for the everyday leader, as Chris says. So you can pick up this book and be inspired to be a greater leader in the future, but it will also show you how to go about being that leader. It's also for seasoned leaders who, maybe you've been leading for a while, but you need some new ways to frame how you look at your leadership. In no bullshit language, this does exactly what it says on the tin. It gets to the point of and the heart really of how to be a better leader it's oozing with practicality and it's a really beautifully produced book chris so many congratulations on behalf of the leadership judges well done 
Good evening, everybody. I, I am absolutely thrilled, delighted, ecstatic, over the moon, whatever the cliche you want to use um, to have won this award. I don't think I've ever even been shortlisted for the award before, uh, never mind won one. Uh, so this uh, really is an extraordinary feeling. So thank you all. Thank you to anybody that's read my book, bought my book, and a special thank you to the people that voted for my book. And also want to say a huge congratulations to, uh, to everybody else who's entered, everybody who's been shortlisted, and frankly, anybody who's ever even sat down and tried to write the first page of a book, never mind finish one. I want to say a huge thank you to Faye and Tracy from Havas, to Louisa from Profile Books and to Andrew Gordon from David Hyam for all of their hard work and support over the past couple of years. Two years ago when I uh, sat down and started to write this book, I think the first words that I wrote were, we need more better leaders everywhere. And little did I know how prescient those words uh, were going to be two years on when we find ourselves in the extraordinary circumstances of today. Those circumstances, of course, are keeping us apart tonight, but I hope everybody's having a great evening. I hope everybody think everybody's got something delicious to drink. I know I certainly will have by this point in the evening. Uh, so have a great night. Thank you again. Uh, stay strong. We'll get through it uh, and don't forget to wash your hands. Thank you very much.